Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can deploy Django application to Amazon Web Services using Elastic Beantalk service. You could go and create an EC2 instance and then do your configuration manually, but that takes a lot of time. I'm going to show you how you can deploy by using just simple terminal commands. So I've got a code on the left and a terminal on the right. Okay, so I'm in the folder in the terminal where the project is. So I'm going to type ls and here is the project. Now, first thing what we need to do is make sure that we activate our virtual environment. So here in the project, you can see I have a venv folder which has like a virtual environment. So let's activate that. So we'll do source activate actually bin folder and then go activate. Now we have venv activated. I'm going to type pip list and just make sure that all your dependencies are installed. You can check that by typing pip list. Let's clear the terminal. I'm actually going to make the width of the terminal a bit bigger. And here I would like to make sure that everything is installed. So I'll run this command pip install dash r and then check the file which is requirement.txt file for the dependency that's just a text file that lists out all the dependency now i made sure that everything is installed the last thing we want to make sure we want to install is aws ebcli so I'll type pip install aws ebcli so this is what you need you press enter or return on a mac and this is going to go and install ebcli now, once this is installed, there are a few things that we need to do. We need to create a folder called uh, EB extension folder. So once we're done, I'm going to clear the terminal and I'm going to type EB space dash dash version to check whether we have this EBCLI installed. Okay, so we have a 3.15.3 .3 install, which is good. So let's go and do some configuration for our Django project and uh, then we can use this CLI to deploy it. Okay, so I'm going to go and create a folder called EB extensions. Let's do mkdir and space dot EB extensions. Okay, now if I type ls, I won't be able to see that folder. The reason why when you type dot, before the name of the folder you're creating, it will create a hidden folder. So for that, if I type ls dash dash all, sorry, ls dash a. Now here we can see we have eb extension folder there. Okay, so let's get inside that folder. So I'll type touch dot eb extension. And I'm going to create a file here called Django config. So Django dot config we've created that file let's do uh some uh, uh, let's edit that file now so we'll do dot eb extension and then i'll type django config and we open that in nano so here we want to type a few things so i'm actually going to paste those uh those commands here i pasted it and here you want to make sure that your path for whiskey file is all good so I'll type here sb underscore main. That's going to be our, uh, you know, part for whiskey file. Press control O to write it down. Control X. Now we have done our configuration. The next thing we need to do is we're going to uh, deactivate our virtual environment. So I'll type deactivate. So I'll type pip 3 dash dash version. Okay, now we got that. Python 3 dash dash version. Yep, that's what we have. So I'm going to type pip 3 install AWS EB CLI. Now, this time it's going to install for Python 3. Okay, so we got the EB CLI installed. I'm going to clear the terminal. And here you're going to have to type EB init dash p. Python version would be 3.6 and we can name our environment for Amazon Web Services. I'm going to name it API ENV and I'm going to press 
enter or return if you're on a Mac. Now it's asking you provide some credentials for your Amazon uh, ID and it's going to ask you for the key as well. Okay. Now here in Amazon security credential page, what you need to do is let me just uh, close this. You're going to go to access key ID and secret key access. So here I've got couple. So I'm actually going to delete the first one, which was I was just using it for the tutorial. So that's been deleted. Now let's create one. So I'm going to click on create new access key and it's going to, you know, show me key. If I click on this show key access and there it goes, I'll copy this and then you're going to have to paste that here. Press enter. Now it's asking me for secret key. Now when you create that, you will get that key right there. So I'm just going to copy this one and then I'm going to paste it here. Let me explain to you a couple of things about this Amazon service. I'm just going to close this because I've got already key and secret ID. So you got to go to your account and then click on security credentials. This is where you uh, get to create your access keys. Okay. Now I've got that and that's been active. So I'm going to press return. And now I'm going to show you on the website. Now, if you go to services and you click on elastic bean, here is my elastic bean application. So you can see we got that here. I'm going to put it here so we can see what's going on. I'm going to put the terminal right here. We type EB in it. Okay. Now what this is going to do is it's actually going to ask me whether if I want to use uh, some other uh, country server. So default is three. I'll leave that three. I press return and it says create new application. So I'm just going to let it go. And application name would be safety with API. Yes, let's. Let's do that. And it says application safety bit API has been created. It appears that you're using Python. Is this correct? I would say why? Yes. And now it's asking me what version of Python do I want to use with it? I'll type one, 3.6, press enter. Now it's asking me, do you wish to continue with code commit? Well, code commit is a separate service, which we don't have to worry about right now. I'll type N and then you want to set up SSH. Yes, set up SSH and just use the default one. I would just use number one and that's about it. Once your application is created, now you can go and have a look if we have that application. So there you go. We have a safety bit API and the, the first one that we created was SBENV with this command. So that was a long command. We define everything that we want to use a Python version, blah. We want to use, we want to name our uh, environment this. So I'm actually gonna click on this arrow button and I'm going to click on environment, click on action, and I'm going to delete this application. You're going to have to type the name once you deleting it. Let's click on delete. Now we go to the uh, SB safety bit uh, dash API. And then here, now I'm going to expand the terminal and I would like to use a command called EB create. And I would say API and press return. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go and uh, actually create an application for us automatically. And it's going to upload that SB API code. And this could take to from three minutes to five minutes, depending on your internet speed. Okay. So I'll leave that running and we will wait for this to finish. Meanwhile, we can see we should have an application created within this. So here you go. In SB uh, safety B dash API, we have an application called SB dash API. All right, guys. So the application has been uh, launched properly named SB API on the website. I can see that SB API has turned from gray to green now. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to tell me, hey, I've got successful launch uh, SB API application available at this blah. It's fine. There's an error here. Your whiskey pot refers to a file that does not exist. That's the problem that that's what we need to fix. If I go to my, you know, uh, this link, it says 404 not found. I'm going to show you how you can fix this error. Let's clear the terminal. And now I'm going to type git status. Now here 
you can see that we have modified git ignore and we have modified this uh sv main admin as well so i'm actually going to type git add all and i'm going to type git status command and i can see now they're all stacked now they're all stacked so sb uh so eb extension slash django config has been stacked as well so now we're going to use eb deploy command okay dash dash stacked okay now i'm going to press return you could commit and push the code to your repository to deploy that now it's saying creating application version archive ap blah 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 uploading safety bapi so now let's see it's probably take a couple of minutes it says upload complete environment update is starting okay that's fine i'm going to refresh the page and here you go we will see a risky reference to a file that does not exist let's see if that error goes away and then we will have our application running so i'll wait for this to finish let me just refresh the page and hopefully that will be all good okay so that is all good now guys we don't have any errors anymore here is the url for our application okay so the health is okay after we added that eb extension folder to the git and then after you you know you use this eb deploy command using dash dash stagged version which basically we updated now every time you update your code you don't have to do anything you just have to add that changes into the git once that gets to the git then you can simply use eb deploy command so you click on this and here we have our application running cool so this look good this is how you deploy your application on amazon uh, web services now there's more to it these commands actually automatically created our ec2 instance on a specific region and everything is pretty much working now you can configure route 53 if you want to add your own domain to this okay that's it thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one